If you are looking to buy real estate in another state, you're going to want to stay tuned to today's show. Elvis, this video is for you. Let's dive in. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Hey folks, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show here on Holton Wise TV. As always, I'm your host, James Wise, and uh, my longtime uh, viewers, regular viewers, etc. If you haven't already noticed, I'm not in the Holton Wise TV studio. I'm actually sitting at home right now, just had my second child. My wife and I uh, spending some time here at the house, of course, taking care of uh, the fam uh, with the wife there. And that is uh, what I can do because I've spent many years building a real estate business, right? There was a time in my life I couldn't have been able to do this, right? She would be staying at home. Um, that's, you know, that's what she does. And then I, I go to work, right? She stays home with the kids. I go to work. But right now I can add all this extra time staying at home. Wasn't always this way. There was a time in my life where there would be somewhere I have to to be at a specific time. I couldn't just stay home for a few extra weeks, right? But uh, real estate helped me design my life the way I wanted to. And I'm able to spend this extra time uh, with my family, but I don't miss a beat when it comes to my business, right? I'm able to uh, take five steps from the other room uh, where the kids are and go into the home office here and be just as productive as I would be in the Holton Wise studio. And I believe Elvis uh, that's pretty much why you have reached out to me, in my opinion, right? I mean, you're trying to create this real estate business that you can operate from wherever you want, whether that would be here physically in the Cleveland market, or that's in your home in another state, or if you want to move to a completely new location, you can, and your business will not suffer. Your business will not miss a beat. Now, of course, the key to making money investing in real estate in another state is having somebody physically be there, right? It doesn't have to be you as the business owner, but there is going to physically need to be people present because, you know, you can't unclog a toilet from the internet. You can't text message a furnace and get it to, to work, right? Uh, you need actual physical uh, technicians and people on the ground, but that's what we do at Holton Wise, folks. Uh, if you go to our property management fact, we've broken everything down and how we do it. But in a nutshell, how you work with Holton Wise, what my man Elvis is doing. You go to HoltonWise.com, you click the property search for a sale tab, click the MLS search and analysis show. You order yourself a set of videos from me, these MLS search and analysis videos. Then I'm going to send you an email with a questionnaire. I'm asking you things about your wants, your needs, your goals, your life situation, what, uh, what you got going on, what you're trying to accomplish. That's what I need to get out of you. And then what I'm going to give you is I'm going to give you a series of videos, uh, partially finding you deals that my team will then take over after you purchase them. We'll take over the management, the maintenance, the construction, the insurance, the title. We'll do it all for you. It's completely hands off. You could do it remotely. Doesn't matter where you live. Okay. I've got clients as far away as Singapore. All right. So it does not matter where you live. Okay. We do all of that. But the first thing, it starts with these videos. It starts with this education. It starts with us learning about you. And my man, Elvis, brother, you are pretty wide open, dude. Some people have um, extremely like narrow uh, goal sets. Some people have extremely narrow expectations. Sometimes they're accurate. Sometimes they're not. Sometimes people ask me things that isn't uh, possible. And I spend uh, a video or a series of their videos uh, going over why their plan of attack will not work. Me and you, we won't be doing that because you pretty much, you're an open book, right? You're like, hey, dude, here's the deal. I got a fucking $100,000. It's cash. I got good credit. I can get loans. Give me some badass deals, dude. I want to make some money. And uh, so I took that. I took that information and I found you this deal. Uh, basically, the only parameter you gave me uh, was you like multifamily. You like the multifamily space, two to four units, which I think is smart, brother. Uh, two to four units is great because you get the best possible financing. 
30-year financing, fixed interest financing, low interest tax deductible financing. The only negative to that financing is you can only get 10 of these mortgages. So I recommend you do one for your personal home, take care of home base, use the other nine on two to four unit properties, guys. I'd rather have two rental income checks than one rental income check, right? And outside of that, your only other parameter was you're like, yo, B, C, and D neighborhoods, right? So I got you something right on the border of a C, D neighborhood, dude. I dig this deal. 3261 West 88th, Cleveland, 44102. This is just a big mammoth Cleveland duplex, bro. And if you scroll through the photos with me, it's freaking mint, dude. It's like mint, right? Everything has already been done. Like, look at this kitchen. Like, we have, uh, you know, newer Home Depot low style cabinetry. We have a decent countertop. We've already got stainless steel appliances in there, right? As far as the rest of the apartment, like the bath fixtures, totally modern. Everything is painted in a neutral decor. We already have the hardwood floors. We are not going to need to do much, if anything, on the next turnover other than like normal turnover stuff. And the current tenants of this thing, they're already paying basically market rent. One unit bringing in seven hundo, the other unit bringing in six fifty. So currently, this son bitch brings in thirteen fifty a month or sixteen thousand two hundred a year. Now, it was listed uh, about a month ago. It fell out of contract, right? It went under contract immediately because this motherfucker is a smoking deal, dude. It makes sense, right? There's gonna be a lot of investors trying to buy this thing. Okay, went under contract and then it fell out of contract. We were not able to find out why it fell out of contract, uh, but selling as many of these properties as I have, it's very common. Uh, for real estate investors to back out of deals, right? Uh, you know, part of the reason we make sure here at Houghton Wise that we charge uh, to work with you up front uh, is just because of things like that, right? I mean, dude, I've, I've sold more uh, investment real estate than anybody in the world when it comes to the Cleveland market. I've sold well over $200 million of this stuff. And if you look at a lot of the shows, guys, I'm talking about properties that are priced at like $30,000, $50,000, $80,000. You know how many deals you have to do to get 200 million in sales, more than 200 million in sales when you're doing it 30, 40, 50 K at a pop, a lot of deals, right? So we have freaking all these investors coming at us, right? But you know, a lot of investors are looky loose, right? So it's the very first barrier to make sure we know you're serious, right? Uh, so as far as what this listing agent did, it's a agent out of Westway. I don't know what happened, but you know, I, I don't have any reason to believe that it has something to do with the house. I know a lot of investors out there are like, oh my God, I fell out of contract. The house must have some crazy hidden issue. It's, it's a trap. Dudes, when you guys invest with Holton Wise, I, I mean, if you're like new to watching the show, man, please go watch some other content on Holton Wise TV. We break everything down for you in the most transparent way possible, right? We are honest to a fault. I mean, dude, some of our shows are, you know, cringeworthy sometimes. Some of the shit that I will tell you guys uh, that a lot of people perceive to be like negative, rough, or unprofessional, right? That's just in an effort uh, to give you guys a complete transparent look at this business. I mean, there's no sense creating this like, unrealistic amount of fluff like there's uh one video we got uh on the tennis from hell show where it's called poop on the walls and people yelling right like what the fuck it's literally uh fucking tenants screaming being maniacs and like houses where tenants fucking took actual human shit and they covered it on the walls dude uh that's what we're dealing with in, in this business sometimes right so if that's the actual business I'm in where there's actual human beings that are going to rub fucking shit on a, a wall, I, I, I see no reason not to make sure I'm completely transparent about that and letting you guys know like what's going on. Like this is the kind of crap you're going to deal with when you're investing in low income properties. Like, does it happen every day? No, but does it happen? Yeah. I mean, well, it probably happens every day for me just because we have so many tenants, but like if you have like a small portfolio of like 20, 30, 40 units, you're going to have poop smeared on your walls every day. No, but Eventually, one day, some dude might smear some shit on your wall, right? That's part of the game. And if that makes you uncomfortable, I want you to feel uncomfortable right now, today, when you're watching this show uh, versus when you've already dropped $400,000 of your life savings into the business, right? Uh, so because of that, that's the type of transparency you guys get here at Holton Wise TV. So 
Uh, if I tell you I don't think it's uh, anything to do with the house and it's probably not a trap, I think you can reasonably believe that. And of course, I'm still going to have you check me, right? I don't, you don't have to just take my word for it. We're going to make these offers contingent on your own third-party home inspection. And if there really is a major issue with the home, we're going to figure that out. We're probably going to get that uncovered during the due diligence period because your third-party home inspector is going to spend probably four hours crawling through this home uh, to get that taken care of. So all of that said, though, a lot of investors, they tend to just back out and they're flaky. Uh, and I think that's probably what happened here. Um, if it's something different, we will find that out during the home inspection. So just came back on the market. You got to move, dude. In my opinion, it's a solid fucking deal. They listed it at $79.9. If you got to pay $79.9, not a problem. I think we should open the bidding at $75, see what they say. If they counter and they say, no, dude, we want $79.9, it is my advice, Elvis, that you pay $79.9 because this thing is bringing in $13.50 already, bro. $13.50 comes in. Reasonable expectation of annual cost is approximately $9,000 on average, leading you with a reasonable expectation to make approximately $7,200 a year. If we bought it for $75, I'll get you a lender. Anybody else out there, you want my list of lenders, send my team an email, sales at holtonwise.com. 30-year loans, fixed interest loans, tax deductible loans. You guys put up a quarter, they'll put up three quarters, right? So Elvis, all we would need out of you, out of your $100,000 is $18,750. That means, dude, you have over $80,000 left for me and you to continue to build out your portfolio. We'll get the lender to give you the other 56. That, my man, would be a 23.2% average cash on cash return. In addition, when these tenants do eventually move out, whether they move out on their own or whether they move out because we have to uh, evict them, because, dude, that, that is rental real estate. That is part of the game. We're on a CD neighborhood or right there on the border there, okay? Eventually, that stuff will happen. I've already calculated for it in your return numbers. If you take a look at that chart again, as you see right here, vacancy and non-payment of rent. We are saving. $67 a month for when that happens. We are also saving $67 a month in repairs and maintenance because we're going to have to probably repaint it, right? You don't have to do anything major to this one. Uh, kitchens, baths, fixtures, all that looks good. They've already gone with the hardwoods. I did see a couple of rooms with carpet, so we'll get those out on the next turnover. But other than that, I think you're looking at a couple grand just cleaning it up and repainting it between every tenant. It's, you know, fairly hardened looking building here, right? Uh, as far as the big ticket items go, uh, they did give us a little information on that. Let me read you the comments. Don't miss out on this investment opportunity. Large multifamily with spacious living room, dining room, and two bedrooms in each unit. Roof's about four to five years old. Newer hot water tanks, down unit rents for 700 and up for 650 Very close to public transportation, right? So as far as that roof, they're saying it's four to five years old. It's a big building. It's probably like a $7,000 roof. That means you don't have to worry about spending the money to replace it for another 25 years or so. But back to this chart, capital expenditures, 67 a month. That's not 67 you're spending every month. That is me knowing, setting you up, knowing that, dude, you're gonna, in 25 years, have to drop about seven Gs to get a new roof. So we're gonna save $67 a month. You're gonna put that in your pocket now, but know that that doesn't count as your return, right? I told you your average annualized return is about 7,200. That does not include that 67, that 804 a year. So you're gonna probably get 804 a year more than what I'm projecting for the next 25 years, because I know you're getting that big old $7,000 uh, bill eventually, right? They're saying that the uh, hot water tanks are newer. What does that mean? Like two years, four years, five years? Well, here's the deal. Hot water tanks, they last about 15 years and they cost about a G. They haven't said anything about the furnaces. So that means the furnaces are probably getting close to the end of their life cycle. Furnaces, you got two of them in this property, they cost $3,000 a pop and they last about 30 years. But all of that is why we are saving $804 in the CapEx line item because these are costs that you're going to incur, right? So that, my friend, is what I think we should do. You gave me a very open-ended thing like, hey, bring me a fucking sweet deal, and I delivered. This deal is a great deal. I think we try at 75. If that doesn't work, I want you to pay 79.9 because this thing is a producer, bro. This is a cash cow. And that should leave us with approximately $80,000 left to find you 
uh, some more deals. If we could string together five, six, seven of these deals for you, brother, you will be well on your way to being able to have the financial freedom and independence to work wherever you want, whenever you want, invest where the numbers make sense, live wherever you want. That's what it's all about, folks. Again, everybody else, uh, if you're interested in working me in the same way Elvis did, because like this property, if you're watching this on Holton Lights TV, you can't buy this. I sent this to him privately a couple months ago. I only released these publicly on Holton Lights TV after the fact, so you could all learn about the market, about investing for free. Uh, if you want to start working with us in the same way he is, it starts with the MLS Search Analysis Show. So HoltonWise.com, Property Search for Sale tab, MLS Search Analysis Show. Order yourself a package and then we'll get some information about you and we'll start the process. Elvis, reply to this private link. Let us know what you want to do. If for some reason, after all the new information I just gave you about the Cleveland market, you uh, don't want to make a move on this deal, totally cool. I like the deal, but it's your money, brother, not my money. So let me know why. Give me the feedback. Why? Give me a little bit more direction on what you didn't like. So then on your next video that I'm going to do for you, I can switch gears a little bit and find you something that will better suit your needs. That's all I've got for today's show, folks. Thank you for sticking with me to the end. As always, I'm James Wise with Holton Wise, and this is Real Estate Investing Made Easy. Music.